Hi everyone and welcome back to the fourth video in our eBay API tutorial series. In this video what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our um, previous tutorial where we learned how to send a email using Python and we're going to basically plug that into our um, tutorial 2 code where we requested all of the information we found items that um, had prices under what we were looking for and matched our queries. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I am just going to copy all of this and paste it over here. And what we're going to do is we are going to make this a function. And so we've got all of our imports up here. I'm going to leave those separate. But then over here I'm going to make a function called send email. And for now, I'm going to leave the arguments blank, but we will work on that in a second. So what we're going to focus on right now is we want to change out this body content because right now it just leads you to ebay.com when it sends the email and it says we found an item you might be interested in, but we want to give it more information. So we want to tell it here's the URL to the specific item we're interested in and here's the condition, here's the price, here's whatever else other information you have. So if you're looking at your email you can just skim through and you can say okay that that title actually looks interesting I'm gonna click on that one and it matches the condition and the price that I'm looking for. So you can just do a quick second check when you do something like that. And just before I forget um, I actually have my password fold it up there so you're gonna need to define your password like we did in the previous tutorial um, just make sure you have that in there because if you don't have your password then you're not gonna be able to send your email so now that we have this function we have to find out what we want to pass through so if we look back down here we probably want the title we probably want the condition and we want the price but one other thing we want is the URL that links to that specific listing so we can look at it more closely and so we're gonna grab that by going down here and it is titled let me find it view item URL and then I'm gonna do zero so it's just the string it's not in the brackets and so now we have all of the stuff that we want to pass in. We have the URL, we have the title, we have the condition, we have the price. And so what we're gonna do is we are going to call our function and we're gonna pass in URL, title, condition, and price. And so what we need to do up here is we need to alter this function so it takes URL, condition, um, let me check back here. URL, title, condition, and price. Title, condition, price. I'm not sure why this is green. Let me double check. Maybe that's that's just how the functions are in Sublime. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, We've passed in our arguments, that's all good, and then now we have to actually do something with the arguments. And so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to take this item found and I'm gonna replace that with title because then the subject line is gonna be the title of that item so we can just see real fast. Scrolling through, the subject line is gonna be the item that you're looking at, so you can just filter out real fast. If it's not an item you're interested in, you can just scroll right past. You don't even have to open it. And so after that, what we're gonna do is we are going to take away this URL, and we are going to pass in the actual item URL we're interested in. So I am going to do Hang on. 
that and then I need a another quote there we go and then we pass in the URL and then from there we need another quote and then that should be good for the URL and then the next thing we're gonna pass in is the condition and price and so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to mm, actually I'll pass in the title again so you can click on the title because it doesn't make sense to click on the condition or price really so I am going to do something like that so the the link you're going to be clicking on is going to be the actual name of the title and then that's the end of the link and then we're going to add in the I'm going to do a line break I'm going to make paragraph text and then I'm going to say condition with the space condition and then I'm gonna close that paragraph tag open up a new one and for anyone who doesn't know HTML it's pretty simple what this is right here is ahref is just a link and then once you close this bracket then that's the actual text of the link and then once you close the a tag that's the close of this entire section and then the br is a line break which is basically saying go to the next line and then the paragraph tag is just saying this is going to be some random paragraph text it's going to be the paragraph size you could do h1 for a larger text or h2 for slightly smaller than that or h3 or something like that but I'm just going to do paragraph text and so now that we've opened a new paragraph we can pass in the price we can do price space and then we have to add not title price and then we're going to close off the paragraph tag and that should just about do it for that let me double check make sure I haven't forgotten anything um, looks good so far I'm going to oh we have this okay we called that we're good I'm gonna run it and then we can test it out name send oh I did send mail send email try again that looks promising alright I'm gonna cancel that for now we can look over at the alerts check and there we go we've got the subject line is the item title and we've got um, the title is a clickable link which leads us over to that specific item and it gives us the correct condition and the price so that's exactly what we're looking for one issue that we've run across actually is if I run this again and then I'm gonna cancel it again you'll find that since I ran it again it found this exact same item because we don't have any way right now to filter out um, things that we've already been alerted of so what we're gonna work on in the next video is we're going to make a system where we save the items we've already sent emails for and we're gonna filter those out so we don't send emails again but other than that that should be it for this video thanks for watching